Hello, my YouTube friends. I'm going to show you how to work out even though you have a disability or have a cerebral palsy. Well, I'm going to show you and how I do it. It may not work for you. I do have a weight that I use. I actually have two that I use, but I'm using a heavy one today, which is a six pound. I was using a five pound weight for years now. It's going to take me a while to get set up. But I'm going to keep the camera rolling so that you guys don't miss the stuff, how I do things. And uh, I'm going to add music on to it after I get it done and uh, get the video done. So I hope you enjoyed the video. There won't be much talking into it, but uh, I'll try to talk as I'm working. But I'm not one of those people that can talk and work at the same time. So with that being said, here we go. First thing I do is that you do get my bicep and my, my shoulder muscles and I'll show you how I do that in a minute here. Because you probably won't get to see, well maybe you will. When I go at that kind of motion and what I use is this one right here which is a six pound weight. It might be backwards for you guys but it is a six pound weight and what I do is you won't get to see it until I bring it up but I press my arm like that, work my tricep, let's see if I can get you in the shot a little bit, there you go, it's not how, it's not how you're supposed to do it, you bring it, down, bring it down low where you can't see it, and then you work your muscle that way, as you can see right there, and I usually just do as much as I can until my arm wants to fall off, but again, remember, you have to push yourself to do that. You had to have the mindset for that. So that's one of the exercises I do. The other one is basically, I do it from higher up so you can see it. But what I just do is pull it up like that. But I pull it down here below and pull my up, pull it right up. Like that. Okay, that kind of motion there. Now the other one I do is you bring it above your head. Like that, and you push like that. But I'm gonna show you how I do everything without talking right here, right now. Now I'm sure that is really working the muscle in there and I can feel it. I know you guys can't see it, but I, I bet if I read my chair up, you might be able to. I didn't think about that. I'm very sorry. I just didn't want to change the mindset, the, the mode that I was in, but that's all right. Well, make it work, eh? I might, I might lose my head a little bit, but you'll see exactly what I'm going to do here. Oh, there we go. Bring that up as high as I can. Yeah, and now you can see what I'm doing. Yep, but you're going to lose my head a little bit. I'm sorry about that. But there's nothing I can do about that besides push that up like that and see what happens there. But uh, we're going to take it and put it on my arm rest on my chair, my power chair, and we're going to make it sideways and bring it back out. In and out. Now I usually do I usually do ten sets of these, but for video sake, I'm not gonna bore you with that. But that's the kind of motion I do. Now if I really get ambitious here, again I'm gonna bring my I'm gonna bring it up and back, bring it up, bring it back. Or the other one I do is this one here. I do this one laying down too, I'll show you that in a minute here. Just give me a minute to lay my chair down. Oh, 
Oh, get on and go all the way back here. Okay, now this might be a little hard to do. But yep, see, when I use my damn head as usual. Okay, now this is the one I really enjoy right here because I can really do my, my monsters this way too. I really all the way back. Alright, now I start, let's see, I start right here so you guys can see and I push it up, push it up, push it up, push it up. Nice, right, really sure that muscle here, the gray hair where it's working right there. I think it's nice. And what else I'm gonna do is bring it out and bring it back in. And what that's doing is working on my chest bone right there, and I can feel it on my arm, my right arm, and that's my feel amazing. Okay. If you had again like this, I'll show you the I'll show you the crazy one I do here in a few. But see what you want to do is try to keep your arm straight and back. Straight and back. Straight and back. Now if you do it like this, sure you're gonna get tired easy, you're gonna get really tired and stuff, but you're not gonna get that you're not gonna get that muscle strength in your arm. So that's why you see your knee. Going like this. Now the other one I do, you bring it up, twist my arm, bring it back up, bring it up, twist my arm, bring it in, twist it up. And I continue as we do that. Okay. Now this one you probably, if you don't have the strength in your legs or the abs, this is one that I do. The weight is gonna struggle me a little bit. But you know, see what I do. I put the arm, put, put, gotta be careful. I am. Gotta put it right here behind me and I'm gonna sit right up. And I'm gonna sit there. And I'm going to fit, I'm gonna fit this a little bit to get that tricep working as much as I can. Okay. Now I'm going to show you, without talking, what I do here. It's always important to breathe when you're working out. Do not hold your breath like I always do, but sometimes I try to remember myself to not hold my breath. Now we're gonna reset, we're gonna repeat that. Boom, 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 boom. Now remember, don't pump your arm work really fast. That's not gonna do anything. But the other thing you can try, if you have the wrist, I don't know, you can see what I'm doing here. But if you see me turning my wrist right this, at the neutral, this way, this way. This way, this way, this way, this way. And you're gonna feel it burn in there. And what it's doing is probably stretching here. And if you have CP, your hands like the like to bend. So sometimes so proposing you kinda have to fight it. But that's how I do my exercises and I'm gonna leave it here for now.